رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد حبيت في الله the prophet عليه الصلاه والسلام said من حسن من حسن اسلام مري تركه ما لا يعني the prophet عليه الصلاه والسلام said from the excellent of a person's islam is leaving those affairs that do not concern him. If we were to practice this prophetic advice in light of our usage of social media, for example, a lot of fitna would be deterred. And what I mean, for example, there are many sisters, for example, they have WhatsApp groups, Facebook groups and accounts, all these various groups where they have a global community. And they speak about their husbands, the affairs of the bedroom, the affairs that take place between their husbands. They advertise their impending divorce. They advertise the fact that they uh, that so and so is divorced, that so and so is getting divorced, that so and so is dissatisfied, that so and so is having problems in their marriage, that so and so is doing this and doing that and seeking advice from people who have no knowledge. So this is very important for the mu'min to be weary of these behaviors and be cautious of participating in groups like this in order to protect his or her honor and protect the honor of their Muslim brothers and Muslim sisters. And this is in accordance with the prophetic advice. Likewise, another fitna that we find is using the social media to belittle the du'at. That we find all the latest news about Sheikh so-and-so or du'at or da'i so-and-so. That they've done this, that they participated in this, they went to this place, that they are uh, a person of bid'ah, that they're this, they're that. We don't reject those kuwa'id of the shir' and of the salaf al-salih about refuting ahl al and warning the community of the mistakes of someone if this person is outward in their mistakes and if their mistakes can reach and harm the people. But what we're talking about is using social media for namima and ghiba, for backbiting and slander and for carrying tales around the community. Because we know in accordance with many prophetic hadith, but especially one in particular, that this is one of the reasons for the punishment of the grave, that people spread namima. So don't think that it's restricted to just speaking. But what about the one who is spreading it on social media and it's lasting on that social media and it's being carried tales around the world? People in China know the business and the, of this household. People in Uzbekistan know that uh, so-and-so uh, did such and such sin or allegedly did such and such sin. And likewise, these false tales or tales that are carried, whether they're true or whether they're false, are problematic and spread facade. And some of the people enjoy spreading the facade. They enjoy spreading the sinfulness around the world the sinfulness of Muslims. The Prophet والسلام, was walking by the graves and in some reports the graves of two Jews. And he said, Verily they're being punished and they're not being punished for something which the people think is great. As for one of them, he used to not protect himself from his urine when he was uh, using the restroom. And as for the second, that they used to carry the tails. And the ulama mentioned a namima is to spread uh, tails around the community with the, the intent of spreading wickedness. How many people believe that they are in the sight of their Salafi brothers and sisters, or the sight of their brothers and sisters in Islam, or whatever the case may be, being raised up in their sight, and perhaps they are because they have news about so-and-so, because they tested so-and-so, and now they can spread it around the internet. 
How many people spread falsehood? So that means they have the intent to slander and attack the character of someone in order to raise their status. Do they not fit the bill? Do they not fit what the Prophet ﷺ said? فَكَانَ يَمْشِي بِالنَّمِيمَةِ And they used to spread wicked tales. Ahabatifillah, beware these wicked attributes that are not the attributes of the mu'mineen. لَيْسَ مِنْ صِفَاتُ mu'mineen, And that these are dangerous characteristics which can destroy marriages, destroy households, destroy Islamic unity, destroy Islamic brotherhood, and deter the people from benefiting from the people of knowledge and the people of benefit. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from being of those who spread evil and from witnessing evil and protecting and preserving evil. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of all our many sins and bless us with ikhlas, with thabat. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.